Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney, the art Sherpa, and I teach people how to paint. I would very much like to show you how to paint a very simple watercolor. So get your materials and come back and meet me at your watercolor pad, and I'm going to show you every step of how to create this fantastic seascape. Now I have 11, I have a 140 pound watercolor pad that is 11 by 9. I have quinacridone magenta, I have quinacridone gold, Thalo blue and Payne's gray. I have two basic watercolor brushes, a three quarter and a number eight. And I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of moisture onto my paper. Just brushing this up, making sure it's mildly wet. I'm painting on a watercolor block and that prevents wrinkling and buckling. I'm going back and forth and I'm stopping right here at my horizon line. I'm going to pick up a number eight round and a dip in the water, pick off the extra water. And I'm going to get a little of my phthalo blue and a small amount of my Haynes gray. I'm going to come along my horizon very slowly around my brush to let the paint go into my sky. And go in water, drag off the extra, come back and get a little more Payne's gray, yellow blue. Continue just touching the brush across the section here, just letting the pigment find where it wants to be. Have a dip in water. I'm coming back. Are you doing this with me? Coming across, you can see I'm just dragging the brush. I'm letting what's here blend into there. I'm gonna take this brush and make sure the top of my canvas is still wet enough. Pull down. I'm brushing this back and forth into this wet area. I'm gonna get quite a lot of my Payne's Gray. I'm gonna just tap this in. You can see how it bleeds down below it. See, I'm pulling it across and just letting it be. I'm going to go ahead and get a little of my quinacridone and maybe even a little of my gold. Add a little surprising color right here in this upper third into my sky. Pulling that in. You can see I'm coming at a downward angle, very light on the brush, pulling across. Just letting that be. A nice deep breath in, deep breath out. Maybe add a slightly darker blend of sky right here. Now I'm going to do the water below, and I'm going to make a mild reflection of what I have up top, very lightly with my pencil. I'm going to come an inch from my horizon line and mirror a bit of the cloud pattern with a line that's very light and will disappear. I'm going to go ahead and get a bit of this wet, very simple landscape. this brush some of my gray and I'll come right here and start to let that repeat the sky down below 
I'm going to skip some of the paper down here where the water is. And the reason is, is so that some of it feels like the reflection. I'm much more open with the brush stroke. The white very helpful part this. Now I'm going to pick this brush up, dip in the water, drag off the extra, come along below the horizon line, and go ahead and grab a little of my halo blue, Queen's Gray again. A little more gray. Just, Just gently. I'm on toe of the brush as I'm doing the stroke. That lets me skip some of the paper. And over here, the paper is more dry. I'm going to get a little of my gray. I'm rinsing out just very lightly, brushing color into where my water is. I'm going to grab a little of the brown to this edge where it's still wet. Going along very, very Go ahead and get some of my darker color. I'm going to make strokes that are horizontal in this dry area of the paper. Just from the wet to the top. Right over the top, like a glue. A little more. I can repeat the glazing in the dry to the wet over here, here and there. I have a very nice waterscape. I'll go ahead into where this is dry. A little of my gray paint. Make some little V -bars. flying off in the distance. Right here, I'm going to do a vertical line carefully above the horizon. The second line. And I'm going to come and do a horizontal line. I'm going to rinse out my brush a little bit, make sure the extra water is off. Use the tip to blend this gray down. To paint in two little sails. And connect the dots. I'm across here for water. Give it up a little more gray. Make a little reflection. a mirror of what you see. It'll a little mirror. It's a little boat. That could be the little boat sailing on away. There you go. I've left a little space between these two. I'm always get in. A darker little pigment. Of sails. They're flying off. Now that you have a lovely little ocean to escape into, load up the tip of your brush with a little bit of your Payne's Gray. I hope you'll definitely try it. Love to see your version on Instagram. So definitely, definitely hashtag it Art Sherpa so I can find it. I want you guys to be good to yourselves and good to each other, and I'll see you. The watercolor pad really soon. Bye bye.